So how do we integrate a function by part? Now integration by part is usually used when you want to integrate the product of functions where especially one function is not the derivative of the other. So let's try an example. Let's say we want to find the integral of the function 3x times e to the power 2x dx. Now this is the product of functions. We have the function 3x multiplying e to the power 2x dx. Now in solving this using integration by parts, we are going to use the formula u times dv should be equal to u times v minus the integral of v du. Now to solve this, we need to make sure that some expression in this integral is equal to u and then some other expression still in this integral is equal to dv. Now in choosing which expression is equal to u or which expression is equal to dv, we need to make sure that the expression which is equal to u should easily become a constant after successive differentiation. The expression which will be equal to dv should also be easily integrated from standard integrals. So having this in mind, we can say that we are going to let u be equal to 3x. Now the reason why we say u is equal to 3x is the fact that when you differentiate u, it's easily to get a constant which is 3. So let's assume you differentiate u with respect to x, then you are going to get 3. So since when we differentiate u with respect to x, we easily get a constant, then it is wise to say that we make u be equal to 3x. Now in that case, we have du dx be equal to 3. Now let's try to make du the subject. So we have du and that is equal to 3 times dx. Now let's move on to the dv part. So we have dv to be equal to e to the power 2x dx. Next, we are going to find v. So v is equal to the integral of dv. And that is equal to, we have the integral of e to the power 2x dx. So basically, we are going to integrate e to the power 2x with respect to x. So that will be equal to, when you integrate e to the power 2x, you are going to get e to the power 2x, that remains at the numerator, and then you differentiate 2x with respect to x, and then you end up having 2. Now, this is a standard integral, so it's very simple or easy to integrate. So we have v to be equal to e to the power 2x divided by 2. Now let's move on with our solution. So using this formula, we have the integral of 3x times e to the power 2x dx be equal to, we have u to be 3x, so 3x times v, which is e to the power 2x over 2 minus the integral of v, which is e to the power 2x divided by 2 times du, and that is 3 dx. Now let's proceed. So we multiply 3x by what's in the bracket, and then we have 3 over 2 times x times e to the power 2x minus now we have 3 here and then we have 2 at the denominator so that becomes 3 over 2 and that is a constant so we can pull that one out and then we are left with the integral of e to the power 2x dx so let's further integrate this so we are going to have 3 over 2 times x times e to the power 2x minus 3 over 2 on the outside and then we integrate this we have e to the power 2x divided by 2 plus the constant c now let's simplify this so at this point you realize that 3 over 2x times e to the power 2x is common to this term 
and also this term so we can factor out 3 over 2 times e to the power 2x into brackets we are left with x so x minus we have we are left with 1 over 2 plus c therefore the integral of 3x times e to the power 2x dx is equal to 3 over 2 times e to the power 2x into bracket x minus 1 over 2 plus c now let's move on to the next question so let's solve this we have the integral of the function x square times sine 3x dx So first of all, let u be equal to x square, then we have du dx be equal to 2x, then we say that du is equal to 2x times dx. Again, we have dv to be equal to sine 3x dx so we have v to be the integral of dv which is the integral of sine 3x dx so v is equal to or will be equal to we are going to differentiate this you have 3 and that appears at the denominator so you are going to get 1 over 3 now when you integrate sine x you have you have negative cos x so this becomes negative 1 over 3 times cos 3x now let's plug in these four into the formula for integration by parts so using the formula u times dv equals u times v minus the integral of v du therefore we have the integral of x square times sine 3x dx be equal to u is x square and then we have v also to be negative 1 over 3 cos 3x and then minus the integral of we have v to be negative 1 over 3 cos 3x times du and that is equal to 2x dx so let's further simplify this so we multiply x squared across we are going to get negative 1 over 3 x squared cos 3x minus now we also have negative here so negative 1 times negative 1 becomes plus 1 so we have plus now we have 1 over 3 times 2 and that is 2 over 3 so we can pull that out 2 over 3 and then we have the integral of cos 3x times x dx now you realize that we still have the product of two functions we have cos 3x and then we have x so again we need to apply integration by parts to resolve the term we have on the right hand side so that we can add that to the term on the left hand side so again we are going to perform integration by parts so from the integral of cos 3x times x dx we are going to let we are going to let u be equal to x then we have du dx to be equal to 1 therefore we have du to be equal to dx also for dv we say that dv is equal to cos 
3x dx and then v is equal to the integral of cos 3x dx and that will be equal to you differentiate 3x and you have the results at the denominator so that's going to be 1 over 3 you integrate cos x you have sin x so we are going to have sin 3x and then we are going to plug in all these values into this integral so we are going to have we are going to have the integral of cos 3x times x dx to be equal to now still using the formula for integration by parts we have u which is x times v v is 1 over 3 sine 3x three and then minus the integral of v 1 over 3 sine 3x three times du and then du is equal to dx let's further simplify so we are going to have 1 over 3x sine 3x minus we are going to pull this one out so minus 1 over 3 and then we are going to integrate sine 3x so when you integrate sine you have negative cos so we differentiate 3x and then we have the results as 3 which becomes the denominator so we have negative 1 over 3 now negative because when you integrate sine you have negative cos so that's why we have the negative here and then 1 over 3 times cos 3x so finally we are going to have our expression to be equal to 1 over 3x times sine 3x minus this is going to be plus 1 over 9 so plus 1 over 9 times cos 3x so we are going to plug this we are going to plug this into or in place of this and then we further simplify so let's do that in the next section so we are going to have the integral of x square sine 3x dx so we are going to have the integral of x square sine 3x dx to be equal to negative 1 over 3 x square cos 3x plus 2 over 3 times the integral of cos 3x times x dx and we've been able to resolve this as 1 over 3 x sine 3x so 1 over 3 x sine 3x plus 1 over 9 cos 3x so 1 over 9 cos 3x so let's simplify further so we are going to have negative 1 over 3 x square cos 3x and then you realize that we have cos 3x here so we can bring that first so we are going to multiply 2 by 1 and that is 2 3 by 9 we have 27 so 2 over 27 times cos 3x and then plus 2 times 1 is 2 3 times 3 is 9 and then times x sine 3x so at this point we can still perform factorization 
So let's factor out 1 over 3. So first we factor out 1 over 3. And then we have, we are going to have x squared cos 3x. Now you also realize that cos 3x is common to these two terms. So in as much as we factor out 1 over 3, for these two terms, we can as well factor out cos 3x. So actually we factor out cos 3x and then we have cos 3x on the outside. And then inside this bracket, we are going to have, we are left with negative x square. So we have negative x square. And then here, 27 divided by 3 is 9. So we are going to have plus 2 over 9. And then plus 9 divided by 3 is 3. So 2 over 3 times x sine 3x. So basically, the integral of x square sine 3x dx is equal to this expression plus c. So it means that we should have introduced the constant c here. So that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.